So starting off, I just used the weapon as a reference and sketched around that, and based my whole drawing around that since that was supposed to be the main theme. I decided that the theme was sort of going to be a wary traveler trying to find the weapon and gone through a lot of, you know, harsh challenges and stuff, and to be inside a pretty jungle-esque area with a jungle temple type place. Seeing as there were a lot of intricate details, I used the website as a reference where the image was at full HD quality instead of the reference that I dragged into Photoshop and I mainly used that for colouring. So for colouring, I won't go into too much detail because I have a tutorial that will be linked right now and that goes more into my 5 steps of colouring that I will be using inside this video. So for the rock, I decided to not do much of line work and go inside a grayish line. And I converted my weapon to a smart object because I wanted to scale it a bit and didn't want to lose its details. And for the shading, I just took a really dark color and just kept blurring it and blurring it and blurring it until it looked like it fit. So now for the character, I turned to anime for the hairstyle and the sort of, sort of look because sometimes the anime characters actually look the most epic and this is what I really needed at the moment. Epic. So the guy was supposed to be wearing sort of a tank top type thing and his full arms would be showing because I wanted to emphasize the cuts. I didn't actually know what to do for the hands, I later move on to the idea of using a weapon, but I was really confused and I took a lot of time experimenting with the hand look. For the colouring this part, instead of actually adding a Gaussian blur, I actually used a smudge tool and sort of smudged in the details so it looks more of a used and wary type feeling instead of the whole crisp blur. So for the pillar, I kept my Onyx character in mind from my November challenge of the month and also my rock from the weapon area in mind on how I shaded. That sort of mixed together gave a very used and wary feel and I also wanted to add some moss since this pillar would be very used. So I pretty much just put down a green tone and just kept blurring it and that's the final result you see right now. So for the light ray, I kept the Sword of the Stone movie in mind and how all the light beams came down to one central point. I also wanted to emphasize this by adding an overlay which sort of had an empty area where the weapon was and everything else would have a bit of a black tint to it. And I also emphasized this by adding some reflection on the pillars and character.
for the gate, I did the same thing as I did to the pillar, but added some depth to it by adding two turns of shading and a bit more of a mossy type feel. So the background followed more on the pillar type thing and I just used that and continued on. And I also did the same thing for the floor. I added some imperfections in the line work by making some tiles be at an angle, other tiles not, and I emphasized that in the shading. If you can notice that outside the gate I used a bit of a clip or slash the background from my December challenge of the month, but it was on a much shorter scale so it wasn't as noticeable. Only when you hide the weapon is it even barely noticeable. And I'm done! This is my final piece, and I'm really happy with how this has turned out. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, because that would be highly appreciated. Also, go check out the drawing on Newgrounds and all my social media, the links will be down below. And don't forget to leave a like and comment on it, because that would be really awesome. And don't forget to leave a review on Newgrounds.com, because that would also be awesome, and try and push this onto the front page. Anyways, that's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye!